Hey everyone, Creatively Kara here, and today we're going to be setting up the month of June in my bullet journal using my new Koi watercolor set from Sakura. I recently purchased this item and was very excited to give it a try as I want to start watercoloring more. So stay tuned to see how it all turns out with my summery lemon and lemonade theme. Another item I recently purchased is the Assorted Sign Pen Pack from Pentel Arts. And I use most of these pens throughout the video to draw my items, but everything I use in my bullet journal today will be linked in the description box down below. If you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you join my community online. Feel free to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell as well if you want to be notified for when I upload my video. I did lose my voice last weekend and it's slowly coming back. So throughout this video, it might be a little crackly. I decided to choose the lemon and lemonade theme because I am very excited for summer to get here. Spring has been kind of mediocre from where I'm from. I think the warmer weather is finally starting to arrive. June brings about the new season and I just cannot wait for it. So I thought that the bright color vibes and everything in this theme just really hit the spot for me. On my cover page, I wanted to do a cute mason jar with lemonade and the lemon on top. And I personally love straws, so I thought I would include one of those. Now this is the first time I'm using the Koi watercolor set. It comes with the aqua brush pen, which I'm using. And this pen is pretty awesome. You fill it up with water and you can then just dip it in the paint. You might want to squeeze it a little bit, but the water does kind of naturally flow out of it as well. And I think that's one of the like awesome things about it because it has a pretty good steady flow of water coming out that it makes, I guess you could say, sketching watercolor pretty easy. There are two shades of yellow in this pack. So I used the lighter yellow to basically do the first layer. And then I attempted some shading with that darker yellow. I am a beginner at watercoloring, but I'm prepared to share all of my work with you, whether it's perfect or not. We learn from our mistakes, so I'm happy to be posting that here for you. Do you watercolor? Let me know in the comments below, what level are you at? My mom is an artist and she's been teaching me some of her skills and I've also bought some watercolor books. So I'm hoping to learn a little bit more and bonus, I plan on doing a watercolor challenge next month. So stay tuned for that. I thought it would be perfect for my cover page to have a black tag with the title June in it. So I wanted to do that black background and I'm using the Faber-Castell pen on this and then I will write over it with my size 10 jelly roll in the white color and it's perfect. Now I've been wanting to do more quote pages, one because I love how they look, two because I want to be working on my hand lettering, watercoloring and hand lettering which can go hand in hand. I'm going to start trying to do more of these and include them in my monthly setups. I got a little bit of my inspiration from Pinterest, but I wanted to spice it up and add my own flavor to it a little bit. So I included the lemon and then I wrote the word lemon inside of it. And I added in some extra little doodles just to add some character to the quote. Not gonna lie, I kind of went with a very common quote for lemons. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. But honestly, I think it's perfect because as most of you know who probably have been following me, life is pretty crazy. My second daughter is now five months old and going back to work was pretty hectic. So life has given me a little bit of sourness these last five months, but I'm trying to stay positive and I'm trying to make the best of it. So whether this quote is cliche or not, I think it's perfect and very fitting for me. Then I just kind of felt like the lemon needed to stand out a little bit more, so I outlined it. But voila, I think it's great. Next, we're going to be setting up my calendar. So far in my new bullet journal for 2019, I've only really used the Ryder Carol's calendar layout. 
Usually that works really well for me and it's pretty simple and easy to set up, but I wanted to explore my boundaries here and I decided to go with more of that monthly layout. I'm using squares here. I think they're seven by seven. Now I did make a little mistake. I started to fill in the top of the calendar with dots where I was gonna write the number of the day here, but turns out June doesn't start until Saturday. So I just went in and filled these squares in with lemons. I will add a little bit more detail to them later, but I started thinking about, hmm, maybe I'll actually turn those into like little Zentangle tiles. You can stay up to date on any of my bullet journal stuff on Instagram. I usually like to post all my updates on there because I can't make videos of everything. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at creativelycara. Also, if you do decide to recreate this theme, I'd love to see it. Or even if you recreate the quote or a piece of it, feel free to tag me on Instagram at creativelycara. I'd love to see what you guys recreate. Little tidbit of information here. When watercoloring in your bullet journal, I highly would recommend sticking a piece of watercolor paper behind the sheet you're working with. This will help prevent water from leaking onto the next page. It will also help protect you if you're watercoloring close to the edge so you don't go over it and get it on the other pages, which eh, I still kind of did, but hey. For my monthly calendar, I wanted to include lemons bordering around the calendar. And some of them, you know, they kind of fall behind the calendar here. This is where I really got to explore with that shading and I love how these lemons turned out. I think they turn out great. Also be careful, some black pens do kind of have that water-based ink already. So the pen that I used to draw my calendar out was water-based. When I went over it with my watercolor pen, I kind of smeared that black a little bit into the yellow, but it's okay. Again, mistakes happen. I'm not too picky about them. My bullet journal is for me. And while I love to share what I create with you, I'm not gonna sit here and try and make it the most perfect thing ever because it's not, and it's really just to help me be productive. And also, it's also there to help me explore my creativity. I am not a picky bullet journaler. I just go with the flow. Now I'm going through and just adding some leaves to some of my lemons on here, just to add a little bit more color and pop. The green was a little bit lighter than what I was expecting, but I think it worked out perfectly for this. My shading technique on this one really was just using the one green color. And then just started off with a light layer, then I went over it thicker on the outside and also on the inside, gave it some shading that it needed. And then I wanted to add in a little detail here with some vines. So again, using that same color green, just going through with a thicker amount of watercolor on there. And then using one of those Pentel sign pens to add some dots in here. And this is just to add a little detail to my lemons. And hand lettering on top for June. I kind of wish I had made that a little bit bigger or more spaced out because I had the room for it, but didn't happen that way. Oh well. And then I went in and just put the days of the week on top and then included all of the numbers inside those little yellow dots that I made. June is my birthday month, yay! So I'm really excited. I don't really have any plans yet and my birthday falls on a Tuesday, so I'm not sure there's a whole lot I can do on a work week, but I'm sure I will find something to do even if it is a little small activity. What are some of your favorite things to do on your birthday? Let me know in the comments below. Maybe you guys can give me some inspiration on something fun that I could do. So this is going to be a new thing in my journal. I want to create a social media tracker and that's basically for my YouTube channel and Instagram. Now that I'm finally done with school, yay, I will be able to dedicate more time to my YouTube channel. Uh, with two kids and a full-time job, it's still difficult, but I truly love making these videos for all of you and just sharing what I create because it is what I am passionate about. 
Eventually, I want to expand and post more regularly on my Facebook page and Twitter as well. I don't want to be just sharing like the same stuff everywhere. I want to try and vary it. So kind of my goal to figure out how I can do all of that. But I'm going to start with YouTube and Instagram with this new tracker. To make the tracker, I decided to just kind of do that straw style. And then it'll sort of follow Ryder Carroll's typical monthly layout and I'm just going to do numbers down the side on each one and then on the left I will have YouTube and on the right I will have Instagram. So again this will let me kind of make write out the days of the week and then when I hope to post different things on YouTube and Instagram. I'm also going to leave some room at the top for being able to track my subscriber and follower count to check it at the beginning of the month and also the end of the month. Moving on to the next page will be a notes page. It's essentially a brain dump. I don't like using that word. This little page will be for when I wanna write down any notes or anything significant, but I just thought I'd decorate it up a little bit with some lemons and the leaves. I usually find that sometimes when I'm still using the smaller brush pens, I end up kind of going down and still thickening the downstroke just because I think it makes it stand out a little bit more, even though you already get that natural look with the brush pen. I just like kind of the bolder look. Just adding in the details for my lovely lemons and leaves. And like I said, with that paper, sometimes you wanna flip it over on the other side, even if I'm not doing you know watercolor on this side all the way, just because the other side's still probably a little wet and you don't want it to blend on the next page, which honestly actually happened when I turned my cover page over. Totally did not think about that, but it's okay. I'm happy to have mistakes in my journal because I learned from them and you know, it's, it adds character. Then I just kind of went with happy, okay, sad face for my mood tracking. I also do a year in pixels in the front of my bullet journal, so I will make sure that whatever I kind of put here will correlate with that as well. And I wanted to number out each little piece of the lemon there so that I'll know which day it is. And then I'm just darkening out the last two days because there are only 30 days in June. And with the four different lemon peels, I ended up having 32. I actually wanted to do my mood tracker a little differently with mason jars and then filling that mason jar up with lemonade. And then the different levels would indicate how my mood was that day. However, I really wanted to find a small mason jar stamp and in the amount of time that I had, I did not find one. So I just went with a different route and I'm still happy with this and I think it will work well. The next page here is going to be my mood tracker. I decided to do a giant mason jar on this page filled with lemonade. I've honestly used this habit tracker before, so if you check out some of my previous plan with me's, you can see something similar to this. I'll link them down below, the ones that I've done this one. I think I did it in April and in March, I believe. So I think those two I did this habit tracker. And you'll be able to see the differences that I was kind of able to do with my theme on them. This month, I am putting the information all inside of the jar. So each row will represent a different habit. And from there, then I just put a title at the top. So I like to track my exercise, water intake, journaling, reading, tidying the house. And then also I want to be able to track when I make art. And then once I complete a habit, I just kind of cross out the day of the week so that I know, okay, I completed it on that day. So again, I like this habit tracker. It can be very, very simple and you can fix it in with just about any theme really. Next up is gonna be my first weekly spread for June. And I sort of took a minimal approach at first. It's gonna be simple with black boxes, but I decided to add a little bit of my lemon accent to it. So at the edge of each box here is going to have a lemon. And this spread can be really flexible with your theme as well. You know, you can do different kind of items down here at the side, or you don't even have to put anything at the side at all and just have the day of the week at the top. I personally like to utilize as much space I can on the two pages for my weekly spreads. Since I do my habit tracking and mood tracking monthly instead of weekly, it allows me a little bit more space. But then inside the black boxes, I will just write the day of the week in there. 
typically I usually still have a little bit of room somewhere on the page where I could add something. And what I'm going to do for that is going to usually try to find quotes or I'll do some sort of doodle that may go along with my theme. So for this weekly spread, I'm going to do a quote and the quote reads, always do your best. What you plant now, you will harvest later. I think that that's pretty fitting for this month. Then I went ahead and wrote the, the number of the week inside of each lemon. Here's just a quick flip through of all the pages I created for my month of June. I really love the lemons and the bright colors. I think it's gonna work perfectly for coming up on summer and it's really getting me excited for the warmer weather. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video today. If you liked what you saw, make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well and ring that bell if you wanna be notified of when I upload my videos. Until next time, bye-bye.